now that the facing is done at that first level, we're going to go ahead and machine down to the next level right here. So to do that, I'm going to show you another way to work. In the first video, I went to the icon, selected a tool, selected a face. Another way would be to select the face first and then use your contextual menu or your right mouse button click menu. From here, I can go and choose end milling straight from that list. Now, because I have another operation already created and there's already a tool in the carousel, Top Solid automatically grabbed that half inch diameter cutter that we're using and it applied it. Now here again, I want to make some quick setting changes, but maybe I want to use the exact same settings as the previous operation. Well, check this out. You can just simply hold your left button down on the facing here and drag and drop it onto the settings button here. And like that, all of the exact settings were copied. Now, you can see that we're treating this like an open pocket. That's kind of interesting. It's leading on and off, plunging off the part. But maybe we want to get all the material at that Z level. Well, to do that, I want to switch back to a facing. How do you do that? You go up to the quick settings balloon here, you double left mouse button click, and you choose facing. And like that, Top Solid does the heavy lifting, and we've now done the facing down to the next Z level. Once the simulation is complete, or even if you don't want to watch it anymore, you can either hit the quit button or the escape key on your keyboard to complete that toolpath.